You like that mustache? November, baby. So back to tradition, right? I don't know why, so I, I've been doing these vlogs for a while, and uh, you guys are always interested in seeing a new vehicle that I have, right? So we had the Ford first. Uh, we gave you the runaround of the Ford. Uh, it was, uh, I think it was a 2013 F-150 FX4. And what I figured out is that a lot of you guys really enjoy watching videos about my the trucks and I mean a lot of it seems like we have a lot of truck enthusiasts um, so I got I scrapped the Ford because I got a new trailer and I needed some more girth to tow the trailer so I got a Ram 3500 a 2000 one second somebody's text me make sure it's not important OnStar so I got a Ram 3500 mega cab uh, I'll show the video or I'll, I'll put the link down in the description if you guys I mean, if you're gonna probably watch this video, I'm sure you've seen the other ones. Uh, so, I was just messing around the other day and I went into the dealership and I'm like, oh, I wonder what the trade-in on this Ram would be. And it was a really good deal and so I didn't have to pay much of a difference to get the new vehicle. And well, I've had a Ford, I've had a Ram, and uh, I moved on to a Chevy. Couple reasons, make sure nobody's out here being weird. Couple reasons. Uh, my wife recently got a new vehicle, a uh, uh, Tahoe, and uh, I really like what they did interior-wise. So here, I'll just show it right here. Grass is dead, only because we're killing it on purpose. So there it is, a white 2016 3500 uh, LTZ. And like I said, I got a good deal on the trade-in, so I said, F it, let's get it, so let's hop in here. Now the first thing, which is kind of a misconception, right? Let's get in here, start this thing up. It's it's kind of a misconception. The Mega Cab, it's like, wow, that's a giant back seat, right? Well, this thing, the back seat is just as, maybe a little bit smaller, but it's just as solid as the Mega Cab. Maybe a tiny bit smaller, but it's still plenty of leg room that you would ever need. But what's cool about this one is the back seat actually fully lifts up, which I like. You don't have to press any buttons or anything. You just lift the bitch up, right? And a lot of people are going to say, a lot of people ask why, why switch. One, just because I got a good trade-in deal. Two, because I really liked what, what my wife, she has a 2015 Tahoe. So pretty much all the interiors are up to date. Um, with the current times the biggest issue I had with the Ram is all the buttons here every almost every single button was ran through the touch screen so every time I just wanted to turn the heat from my face onto my feet I, I mean this is just being nitpicky obviously because I the main reason I did it is because I got a good deal on the traded and I, I'll probably always I mean I had the truck paid off and so I only had to pay a small difference. So it's almost like a no-brainer, you know? Um, and the Ram didn't have a new body style, so I just said, screw it, I'll try Chevy. And so far, I love it. So what I'm saying is, in the Ram, if you wanted to switch from heat from your feet to your face, you have to use the touch screen. You wanna turn on your seat heater, you gotta go in through the touch screen, you gotta go to the main menu, you gotta, you gotta tab over, and literally, I mean, that sounds really nitpicky, but after th two or three years of using it, it was really annoying. They had none of these buttons. Every single, th there was no physical buttons for, for uh, there was a, a couple physical buttons, but for the most part, everything was ran through the touch screen. You wanna do any little thing, you have to run it through the touch screen and that got annoying after three years. Another cool thing about me trading it in when I did is so when I was cleaning out the RAM, right? I went to the back seat and behind the back seat I have a, a oil change kit and I went to go take it out so I can put it in the garage and I, I see there's a little moisture on it. I'm like what? And then I see a stream down the back of the truck to the very corner, that back corner, obviously not this truck, the other one, and it's just soaking wet. So one of the seals had, had busted in the roof and it, my truck had been smelling musty for a while, but I play flag football every Saturday. And so I just assumed it was just my cleats that kind of smelt musty, but it wasn't. The f leak went from there all the way down and the whole back half of the carpet was completely soaked. So I'm like, well, 
perfect timing you know they didn't dock me anything on the train or nothing they said oh that's that's all right but i mean it would have been annoying for me i had to go get it warranty and so i actually already had a warranty in place um I don't know what they call it on the diesels, but it's like a catalytic converter. It went out, it's like a $3,000 part that I had to warranty. So a couple things were going out. I mean, I'm sure something, I'm not saying that that it's a Ram thing, it's all. It's just a, a vehicle thing, shit happens, you know? Um, a bunch of other features I really like about this, it's the interior just poops all over the Ram from like a, uh, um, from like a feature standpoint. Um, just little things like in my seat, you can have it set. This button right here will. Uh, you turn that on, and, and if it, it can recognize if I'm if I'm just kind of if I'm what's the word um, drifting. If I drift over the line, it'll actually vibrate my seat on whatever side that I'm drifting over the line. That's pretty cool. I mean, you're texting and driving, which you shouldn't be, but if you are doing that, and it's illegal in Washington your seat will actually vibrate if you're drifting off. If you're drunk driving, your seat, <laughs> that's a bad example, but if you're drunk driving and you're drifting, your seat will vibrate and tell you which way you better sway back. I mean, it's got all like the typical sensors that all these new trucks have now. Um, it can sense the person in front of me, so at certain times, if, if I'm not paying attention and I'm getting really close to that car, the seat and a red light will just, the seat will vibrate like crazy and the red light will flash in the windshield to tell me that hey something's coming up quick so it's a, a bunch of little features that uh that uh are nice to have um and like i said a lot of stuff it's being nitpicked those features aren't like features that i'm like okay that's why i switch i switch because i got a good trade in and if you have a truck paid off i mean all that money that you're paying towards this truck and you don't pay taxes on that money from the trade-in so that's what that's what most people don't get you buy a sixty thousand dollar truck I mean that's almost six or six to eight thousand dollars in tax. Well, when when you're trading in a fifty thousand dollar truck, you don't pay the like four or five thousand dollars on that fifty thousand dollars of tax. So that's even more incentive for me to trade it in. Uh, something really cool. Let's see if I can plug my phone in real quick. One second. Something cool on these new. The 2016 models, which it's probably just an upgrade on Rachel's stuff, because Rachel's vehicle is very similar to what I got going on in here, but the only thing different is this, this it's called projection or projector or whatever. So actually, I can run all the apps, on my, or not all the apps, but all the, the compatible apps on my phone to right here. All these navigation systems and everything are, are cool, but what sometimes what's annoying about the navigation system is it's just tough to do it's just tough to use and tough to do it while you drive um, but now you can bring your Google Maps app or maps I don't know if this is apples or whatever but you can actually use their app as your own navigation on your navigation screen and I mean you get all your music your phone uh, the texting is pretty cool I'll read it out loud and you can you can you can do voice to text back that works really well it works through Siri so it works just as good as Siri works. So, um, as of right now, what am I going to do to it? I went in to get a quote for what I like to do when I get vehicles, right? I go in, get the vehicle. It has all the stock stuff on it, stock wheels and tires. I usually don't like to switch out the stock stuff. I like to make it seem like a new truck. Like So, like, a couple months or something down the road, I like to make it seem like like a, a new truck. So you know, I got this truck, I'll probably leave it like this for a while, it looks great. It actually, if I wanted to level out, it would be a four inch leveling kit in the front. And that's pretty big for a leveling kit. I think on my other trucks it was like a two and a three. But I, I mean, it sits pretty high as is. Um, so I went in and got a quote for wheels and tires and it was like five grand and I'm just like, like man, I think I'll just, I mean, I'm getting 20 miles a gallon. I think I'll just, just take the 20 miles a gallon for a few months and um, when I start getting a little bored I'll throw wheels and tires on it feels like a brand new vehicle so I'll probably do that um, so that's that's what's up am I missing anything oh, they, got, they got the charge pad right here uh, my phone I have the the 6s plus so it doesn't it doesn't fit on it but um, so you I mean Rachel has the the 6s 
and she has the case that has the charger in it so she throws it on there charges it up it's simplistic uh, I don't do it though um, what else is in here just a bunch of sensors and features you know that probably are gonna go out that's why that's why a lot of these there's so many computers in these things that and sensors and stuff um, that's probably why I'll, I'll probably recycle vehicles every every two to four years you know depending on how much I like it. I was kind of I got really tired of the black on the Ram I just got a black one it's cool when it's clean but when it, it I mean it gets dirty you see every little scratch that's why I went white in my I mean white is like work truck style but when you throw like black rims and you and you put some black stuff on it it makes it look really cool so um, yeah any questions ask in the comment section um, I hope you guys don't take this as like look at my shit but it's like tradition I've every vehicle I've ever ever done I've made a vlog about it and that's I, I put it on I put it a picture up on Instagram everybody's like make a video you always make a video and I'm just like you're right so uh, 2016 Chevy Silverado 3500 LTZ with the Z71 Z71 package which is like their off-road package which and I think I think it even has a uh, a plate under and different suspension so that's what's that's what's also I, I was trying to choose between the dark gray and the white this one had everything that I wanted so I went white and uh, oh let me show you the most custom thing about it oh yeah it doesn't get more custom than that <laughs> oh shit no on a serious note I just I got these stickers for respawn and I just want to try it, but I don't think it will ruin the paint or anything. It's for the window. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed my vlog about my truck. And, uh, have a good day. Babel, you want some camera time? Hey, you want some CT? Look. Everybody say hi. Hey. Bye.